Well, good day everybody. Uh, today's Monday, day after Father's Day. Had a great day yesterday, fantastic day yesterday uh, with the family. Just missing my daughter, that's all. I wish she'd have been here, but she's in Queensland. I have to uh, deal with it, you know, and it's hard, especially at times like that. Anyway, after a great night out, uh, went out for dinner to our favourite restaurant. And a uh, fantastic day, totally, it was great. Today, I, uh, I've been, <laughs> been bludgeoned a bit, trying to get over it. Looking after my missus and that, you know, and sitting next to her and talking to her. She doesn't talk back, but I talk to her. Uh, I'm making um, pork chops. Applesauce. Uh, I'm having a few sprouts with my missus, my son and my sprouts. Uh, broccoli and cauliflower. And I'm doing gratin potato. But I'm doing them with a little different, like I normally do. I always change a recipe. I can't help myself. <laughs> I put a layer a layer of uh, potatoes and I, I did them on my slicer that's brilliant you can have them as thick and as thin as you like I did them thin this time because last time I did them which was a long time ago when I first got that I made them too thick and they, they weren't quite cooked to taste they were all right they were eatable but they, were, they, they needed another 15 minutes probably 10 to 15 minutes Anyway, uh, I put a layer of potatoes, then I, I put a, uh, a layer of onion, and then a layer of carrot, and I did that three times. Then I made a, a bechamel sauce, I think it's called bechamel sauce, just flour, uh, butter, and milk, and then I added uh, a fair bit of cheese in it, and uh, some gobs of cream, fresh thick cream on top. It's been in the oven for about an hour and 15 minutes. It's nearly, nearly it's got six minutes left to go. Uh, they say the recipe I used was about an hour and a half. But I think they're pretty well cooked now. I'm just trying to brown the top off, that's all now. So uh, I might put, it, put the griller on in a minute. And uh, it's just a quick video tonight. Um, and when it comes out, I'll show you the results. All right, catch you in a bit. Well, we're on the countdown. Ten seconds to go now for the the, the grad and potatoes. I'm hoping they're going to turn out okay. But I don't know. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, have a look at that. Oh, how good is that? I'm going to keep that in warm now because my pork chops are not ready. I got my timing all wrong. Still got a few more minutes to, to run. So there we go. I'll leave that in there to keep warm. And uh, we'll just have a check on these... Uh, No, they're not quite done yet. We need need to crisp them up a bit. So uh, I'll uh, bring you back in a bit. Okay, folks, here we go. Excuse my arms. I'm going to take these out of the oven. Oh, look at that! How good is that? That's not bad, is it? I've done that for a long while. So, I'm just dishing my wife's out. And, uh, we'll give her some of this here. 
she likes a bit of the burn bits. How good's that? Now, a few veggies. I'll just let the uh, veggies boil a bit more. Oh, they, they're coming on good. And, uh, see, see if you can see what I'm doing. I'll just take a few out and I'm just warming these up. I'll just let them drain in the colander. a couple of sprouts. I didn't have many left so I'll turn that down. Let them drain. I've had to cut the meat up from for, for my wife and she has trouble. Some broccoli there for them. Right, can you can you give this bomb, Glenn, please? Service, please. Right then. Looks like I'm going to have to bring you back in a minute when I've I'm going to dish my sons out and then I'm going to dish mine out and then I'll give you a bit of a taste test. All right. Okay, folks. Now, this is it. Looks all right, doesn't it? Now, we'll have a bit of a taste test. Hope it all works out. So I'm going to... And I'll bring that up there a little bit. And bring that in. And go up a little bit more. And we'll have a bit of a taste test. Okay. Right, first of all, I'm going to try the spuds. First time I've ever put carrots in. I've usually put onion and potato. Have a look at that, folks. And I'm using my phone today. I'm not, I couldn't be bothered getting my camera out. It's a bit hot, so here we go. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I've got some apple sauce too. Bit of that stuff. All right. But they're better. But there's a lot of people out there who won't agree with that. <laughs> I can tell you that now. I, love, I used to hate them as a kid. I wouldn't eat them. But I can't get enough of them now. And you know what the secret is? Don't overcook them. See if I can keep this on the floor. Potato. Mm. Didn't get the uh, fat rendered enough for me, but it's all right. Dip it in the apple sauce. There we go. How's that? Magnificent. Oh. I made that applesauce. I made it in a big jar. It's nearly gone. I'm going to have to make some more. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it with you. Hope you enjoy the video. It's only a short one. Leave a comment. Let me know what uh, how you cut your pork chops. I did mine in the air fryer. I don't know where to get the times from. They said 12 minutes. Wasn't even cooked on one side in 12 minutes. They had to do them uh, about 20, 25 minutes. 
That's a pretty big chop, Sam. Anyway, um, put a like on the thing. Let's get it out to a lot more people if you do. I'll be really uh, appreciated over that. I'll appreciate that uh, uh, a big, big time um, if you do that for me. And if you haven't uh, already um, subscribed to my channel, consider subtri uh, sub subscribing. Uh, subscribing. No such word, is it? Consider subs. <laughs> oh, sh 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 Consider, please, please consider subscribing. I got it. <laughs> share it with your with your friends. Share the video with your friends. Hope you enjoyed it. But please, at the very least, do me a favour and put a like on it because it does help to get it out to a lot more people to see. And we'll see how we go with that. Okay, take care, everyone. Hope you all had a great Father's Day yesterday, wherever you are in the world. I know it wasn't always Father's Day outside of Australia, but uh, I still wish you a good, happy Father's Day. <laughs> There's nothing like dads. I wish my dad was still here. I miss him. He was a very wise man, a very knowledgeable and clever man, unlike me. <laughs> He was really good. He was a really good bloke, my dad. Everybody loved him. Anyway, uh, I'll say bye bye, cheerio, tara, tara. Well, tara for now. <laughs>